Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. Today we have another find. In this case we got this Henry Hoover. The poor thingy has seen better days. The condition of this Hoover is quite bad as I found it in a bush. And after digging it out, here we have it. Back to the shop. I was thinking just to plug it in and see what it does. But after further inspection and see what condition it's inside, I decide that it's better to just strip it all down and go from there. Now remember, before attempting such a repair, be careful that this is a 220 to 250 volt appliance. So, precaution has to be taken into consideration before going further with the repair. First, we remove the top side, which is holding the motor. After that, we proceed by unscrewing the four screws. Then, we lift up the case, the cover which hides the, the wire spool. And then, we remove the three screws. And there, we have the engine. The engine looks quite okay. I don't see any damage to the armature of these rotors. Let's check the brushes. First the first brush, seems that it's nearly brand new. Now the other one is looking exactly the same. That means that the engine didn't see too much use. Now to test it, I want to use my safety box. But apparently, when I try to switch it on, the motor doesn't want to work. I don't guess that the engine is broken. It's just that the safety box is limiting the power going to it. As this is a synchronous motor, meaning that it will spin just in one direction. After further checks with the multimeter to check the armature, I was thinking just to connect it in a simple way. Don't do this, just do something better if you can. I just find it a quick, easy way to do it. Now, after the first power up, we can see that the motor comes to life. It spins freely and is not so loud, meaning that the bearings are in good conditions. It has a bit of rust on the top case hiding the blade. That was easy to by just grating a grinder, a wire brush and the battery and proceed further by grinding it. Looks quite neat, one last touch is to put the sticker back. And like so the engine is looking like new. Let's head outside and getting a plastic bowl. This will be filled with water and some soap and all the parts will go in it to soak for a bit. After that I got a hand brush and brush all the parts, they don't have to be perfect just to get them clean. After all the top side parts has been cleaned, they have been put on the side to dry and move on to the bottom side, including the bucket and the fabric. The bucket was quite filthy, it seems that they didn't use a bag, but nothing a good scrub can do. I think it is decent enough. Moving further with the fabric, let's try to leave it soak a bit and then using the brush we can try to clean it partially. After a while I see that the thingy doesn't cut out, so I have a plan D under my sleeve that it's using the washing machine. After turning on the machine and setting to the fast wash, prepare some powder and as also some conditioner for good luck and proceed further by starting the machine. With the machine spinning, we can come back and assembling the top side, that including cleaning a bit the wire because I forgot and then reassembling it, then putting back all the switches, the motor with the foam isolator, then connecting the wire, then screwing it all back Keep in mind when you are screwing screws in plastic, you have to turn them anti-clockwise till they snap in them place and then turn them back clockwise to tighten them. This is done just to prevent a new thread being dig in the plastic. Now after the top side is ready, we can plug it in as normally and see if it works. And of course it works, that was the purpose from the beginning. After drying the bottom side, we can get the fabric from the washing machine making sure it's dry and put a new bag. The last bit which has to be tackled, it will be the hose. Quite dirty and as well it has some tape on it. Let's remove that and as well let's clean it thoroughly. Then we can install the filter, then the top side and that's it. The hoover is working. Looking good Henry. Now I hope you like the video. This is something new I try to do here on the channel. On this video series I would like to try to show you how to fix different things from complicated things to basic things and as well how to troubleshoot and doing so we can learn together and also different people can get them information from this kind of video furthermore this was all i have for you today i hope i will see you all in the next video till then have a nice day and thank you very much for watching see ya